Welcome back to the 1-6 tutorial on painting an Obi-Wan Kenobi head sculpt. In this video we will cover the daunting task of painting eyes. For many customizers the idea of painting eyes is anxiety producing. They're tiny, loaded with detail, and very easy to get wrong. But if done right they can take a sculpt to that next level. In this video I will show you a step-by-step -step process to follow to get great looking eyes. First off, let's talk about supplies. Aside from the paint, you'll need at least three brushes. Two small rounded tip brushes, one for the iris, the second for gloss, and a fine tip spotter. I use a 020 for the pupils. You'll also need a gloss coat. I use Model Master's Gloss Clear Acryl. And finally, you can opt for a pair of magnifying glasses. You're not going to win any fashion shows with these, but the ability to see the eye at six times magnification greatly improves your ability to get a good result. To start the eyes, we first paint the whites. However, don't use white paint. The whites of the eyes really aren't white. Just look at your own eyes. The sclera, while looking predominantly white, has a bit of yellow, red, and gray to it. To try and match this, I mix a little red and blue into some white paint to get a very light lilac color. To apply, simply load a bit of the paint onto one of the rounded brushes and fill in the eyes. If you get a little slop here, don't panic. We'll clean that up in the last step. Once dried, repeat this step, let it dry, and then apply one coat of the gloss with the second rounded brush. Once the gloss coat is dry, we can move on to the iris. When painting the eye, you need to consider placement. High, with a lot of the pupil obscured, emotes anger. Centered, with most of the iris visible, appears shocked. And centered, with the top of the iris obscured but most or all of the pupil visible, translates to more neutral or calm appearance. This is the one we're going to use for Kenobi, and the one you will likely use 9 out of 10 times. Since a real eye has depth and a painted one does not, it's up to the painter to try to replicate this. I paint the iris and pupil in the four stages seen here. By following this method, you'll be able to recreate a natural looking eye. The first stage is to paint a dark circle the size of the iris. In this case, it's a very dark mixture of blue and black paint. The second stage is to fill most of the first circle with a lighter color, leaving just a thin outer rim of the darker color visible. Third, fill in roughly the bottom third or half of the second circle with a lighter tone, but still leave the darker rim visible. This will recreate the natural shadows and light visible in the human eye. After this dries, apply one more coat of the gloss. Finally, we come to the moment of truth, the pupil. Take the spotter brush, get some black paint on the tip, just a small drop should suffice, and carefully work it around in order to make a circle. There, that should get it. The pupil's not completely perfect here, but we can always go back and fix that later. And after we add the gloss coat, it may actually have a bit more of a round appearance to it. The reason you add a gloss coat before painting the pupil is protection in case you make a mistake. Say we put the pupil on too low and we don't like how it looks. Just take a brush with a small amount of water on it and simply wipe away the paint. There. Just like it never happened. I can't tell you how many times I've had to redo an eye before discovering this trick. Once the pupils are done, then you can lightly rim the top eyelid with black to give the appearance of eyelashes. And there you have it. The paintwork for the eye is done. Before moving on to the final gloss coat of the eyes, take some time to clean up any slop that's happened. At this point, you can round out the edge of the iris, clean up any overpainting, and blend in the top and bottom eyelids. Once you're satisfied, go ahead and add a coat of gloss. The final step of finishing the eyes is adding a small bead of gloss to the iris. Carefully place this on the eye and let it dry in an upright position. Once this is dried, cover it with one more coat of the gloss to give it a nice depth and appearance. And that is the end of the tutorial on painting eyes. Thanks for watching, and as before, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And be on the lookout for the next tutorial coming soon.